So how your abs look and how you hold yourself in your posture can give us a really good idea of how your core is functioning. So to give you a little bit of an idea, you might find that since having lived one, that you find that actually I've got a really nice definition in my upper abs, but I've still got this really pushy out lower abdominals that I still feel really pregnant. Or a lot of people say, oh, I've still got all this weight to lose here. But actually, you just gripped really hard down with your chest. These upper abs are working hard. Try and take a deep breath in that position. It's really, really difficult. And if you can't take a deep breath, then your diaphragm can't move down, which means our tummy can't fully relax, our pelvic floor can't fully relax. So then trying to get a good contraction in that position is really, really difficult. And that pressure is going to get sent either out our tummy through a diastasis or through our pelvic floor. Alternatively, you may find actually your ribs are still really flared since having a little one. And you might feel you're quite toned down here, but actually quite pushy and pouchy at the top. And no doubt you've probably got a bit of thoracic back pain as well with a diastasis at the top. And in which case, again, really try find it difficult to try and get that contraction at the top of your tummy. Or you may be someone who holds everything on 100% the whole time, which may feel quite nice and everything feels quite tight and toned. And you may be able to run for a couple of miles, but after that, you may be going to your physio and saying, actually, it's after a few miles that I start to leak. And that is because you've gripped everything on with, with all you can. And after a few miles, those muscles are like, oh, I'm exhausted. And that's when you might find that you leak and feel really, really deflated. So while you're not a robot, we don't expect you to be in one position. By simply thinking of growing tall, as much as we can getting a bit of rib and pelvis connection, that we're not really leaning back and flaring our ribs, but equally we're not tucking our bums under and pushing pressure down south. So growing tall, allowing yourself to be able to have a breath that when you do a gentle recruitment of our deep transverse abdominus, we get this subtle movement in. That's what's going to help heal your um, abdominal separation. That's what's going to get you a stronger tummy and that's what's going to make sure that you remain continent and fit for mum life.